Come on, Bob. Muscle. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Muscle man. So, Bob, what are you? What are we doing today? Uh, we got one hour, and uh, I think we're going to the Geechee River and catch some fish. First time. First time. On the Ogeechee River. Actually, and we, we a second. Kind of second, uh, Alan Bob. They're not supposed to know that. Uh, so we went. What am I looking like, dude? My, my, dude, my hair was looking weird right there. I had a stray bowl cut for a minute there. So guys, we are going on to Ogeechee River today. We got about one hour, maybe an hour and a half if we're lucky, all right? We're gonna be trying to catch some bass today. We've only been, we've been once, but not really. If you know what I mean. Like we went like for just like an hour or so. Alan Bob got one. I missed a few and it, it just wasn't like a video made video. So um, yeah. So we're going for technically our first time today. We've never been here. We're going to try to catch some fish. I hope we're going to whack them. I've been dying to get on the boat. So that's what we're going to do boys. So we're about to hop into the truck. Oh by the way we got Alan Bob's truck. Dude you, we haven't introduced your truck Alan Bob. Right? So Alan tell us about your new toy dude. Well. I literally just got a brand new 2019 F-150. Look at this. Uh, we're gonna Look at this. Put it to good use. I know. I told Alan we like pull up in my driveway. I'm like, should we take your truck or my truck? And I was like, we have to break it in, right? We have to do that whole deal. So, we got the Allen Mobile today. The kicker mobile is in the distance over there. But we're using the Allen Mobile, and we're gonna be towing this bad boy, and we're gonna go catch some fish. So first, we gotta go grab my rods, throw them in the boat, hop in the truck. Go catch pickets. I've been in the hills, superstars, feeling like a pop star. Drinking in the bed, jumping in the pool, and I ain't got on no bra. Hit a front of back, pulling on the tracks, and now she's screaming out no more. We all strapped. We got two rods in your truck. Big swim bait, but that is definitely not coming out on this place. We good? I think we good. Let's get it. Boys, we about to rig up a little something something before we get out here We gonna rig us up a little old Texas rig. So we need a bullet weight I'm gonna put me an old bobber stop on Got some old EWG hooks These are four I I want to say Boom right there, and we're gonna throw this on a rod and throw a little tiny speed crawl All right, got our bobber stop on got our weight I know you guys already know, but you know, I tie a uni knot, clean and simple, and it is stronger than the polymer. It's a fact, guys. They ran test on it. I've had I've had the most best luck with it. I, I seem to break off a lot of fish on a polymer. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. You know, a lot of us have confidence knots, and, and that's just been my you know confidence confidence knot for the past couple of years. Throwing a little June bug, speed crawl, as simple as it gets, especially on the river. That thing of catching boys. Boom. That is sexiness right there. Let me show you what I got. Oh baby, look at that thing. That's juice right there, boys and girls. This is gonna catch them tonight. What are you hitting? Is it something at the end of the ramp? Hey, just pull up Alan and, and back in right here. I kept hitting something at the bottom. It's like the back of the ramp is like something that just stopped in the boat. I told him to just pull up and drop in this one. That was weird. It's like we we're going back and it's just he couldn't go back any further. Like there's like a curve or something. That was weird. All right, boys. We're ready to go. The gnats are cooking. Cop just waved at me. What a nice boy. What a nice guy. We are about to drop it. We're already in. We're already in. We're about to pick up Alan Bob. We're going to be fishing. Dude, the gnats are so bad, guys. Yeah, it is bad, man. I mean, it is nasty. These things are just tearing me. Look look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at all the all they're biting the heck out of me, too. is not gonna play no games. 
Our boys got our little Texas rig. Current is whipping. Water is flowing. Gnats are biting. But are the fish biting? If the fish are as, as active as the gnats, man, we... I wouldn't mind. We, yeah, I would not mind, man. We will have a bag today, boys. This is a solid bank. We're in 15 foot, a bunch of cover, a bunch of trees, some rock, some good current, and some current breaks right on the side of these stumps right here. Dude, you're breaking out. You're actually breaking out. Like, you, are you allergic to them, bro? No, this is how we call No, like, you're breaking out, Alan Bob. No, this is how it is. No, no, like, like you are you yeah, like I'm getting bumps all over? Why are you, dude? You're allergic to him or something, man. That ain't normal. It's not. No, look at me. Bullshit. Don't give well, me. You get bumps too. Yeah, but not like that, dude. Look at that. That's like some whelps, bro. There he is. God, dog, dude. This is big, Alan. I don't know what it is. Oh my God, it's a bass. Oh my God, it's a bass. Get yes, it it's a bass. Oh. Get him. Oh. <laughs> yeah. My first Ogeechee bass is a and toad. It's a, food. a three. Look, it just came right off, man. That's a three pounder, bro. That's a three pounder, boys. That's what we came here for, man. Oh man, does that feel good after all these gnats biting us all over the place and you hook it to a big one? And this for the river's big, guys. I'm gonna warn you. That's a big That's bass a for the one. river now. Well, that was worth the uh, gnat bitings that I got. I, what well, I called that too, dude. I was like, there should be a fish in this little divot. Sure enough, he was, man. Do you see how hard he was fighting? The, those fish, but those fish in the current, man, they, you know, they live in this current. They're strong as all can be. But man, that's a big river bass, at least on the Savannah River, dude. I, I don't know if the Ogeechee is any, any different. But for river fishing, guys, like if you catch a three pounder, that's a dang good fish. Let me tell you. Two weeks later. Uh-oh, I got him. Yep, it feels pretty good, Alan. Oh my God, yeah, he's good. Oh yeah. I got you. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you got the camera. One-handed scoop, bro. Yeah, that's a, that's some good stuff right there. Oh, Look at that, guys. That's a good fish, man, for the river. First fish of the day. Beautiful, two and a quarter. Solid. I mean, maybe two and a half. That's a beautiful. Look how stubby he is. That's awesome for the first fish of the day, guys. Beautiful bass. You can catch one. Big? Alan Bob is hooked up, baby. Is it a small one? Yeah, ain't too big. Put him up in here. Oh, yeah. It's a keeper. Alan Bob's on game, on board now. That's my uh, first Agichi. Look at his side, dude. There's something wrong with this fish. Yeah. Look at that. It's like a mutant bass. <laughs> What the heck's going on there? Good job, Alan Bob. Alan Bob caught him a mutant bass for his first fish of the day. I'm him. I nice, know. buddy. Good job, bro. Bow! Get him. A freaking backlash. He's pretty good, ain't he? All right, let me get the camera. Alan Bob hooked up. Get him. <laughs> I should have got the net. Oh, dude. <laughs> well, he was barely hooked. Bro. He was barely hooked. <laughs> hey, guys. How you doing? How you doing? Don't you know it's a private marina, right? No, sir. I got you. private, and uh, I don't mind. Honestly, I don't mind you fishing the rocks. Just don't go back. I got yeah, you. Yeah, man. If you, if you don't yeah, mind. for sure. I don't mind at all. I actually, I'm being honest with you. I didn't see it. It's our yeah, first time. Right but y'all, y'all might get lucky. There was a couple guys in here earlier today that they catch a few. Really? Yeah, we just got a decent, decent little two pounder. It's awesome. Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah, for sure. I won't go past right here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I won't go past right here. For sure, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. You have a good one. Oh, there he is. Took, he took it.
took it. He took it. Oh. Big. Can I help you, gentlemen? How you doing? No, you trust Patrick, correct? We just talked to Mike. He said it's all right if we just fish right here. That's a good one, bro. He said we're all right as long as we don't go past the boat. But I mean, we can't. You can ask him when he comes back, but we'll get out of your way either way. I'll get out of here. But you can ask him when he comes back. I don't want to. I will ask him. Yep. For sure, I understand. Okay. Yeah, we'll get out of your way. We'll just work back this way. All right. All right, boys, so you're probably wondering what the heck just happened uh, what we're doing. I got Alan Bob right here. We're back in this little so, cut now. And so let me explain something really fast. So we were fishing this month. Note that I haven't been here. This is like my second trip here. We we're combined, combining the two videos. And we're fishing this marina. And supposedly, here, I'll let Alan Bob hold the camera. Supposedly, it's a private marina, okay? Which I've never heard of before. I've fished plenty of marinas, private marina, okay? So when we're about to pull up and start fishing it, we saw this guy, we talked to him. He's like, oh, this is a private marina, this is nice. He's like, but I don't care if you guys fish it. He's like, just don't go by the boat. So I said, all right, that's cool. And he said, if the security comes, tell them Mike told you you could fish here. If the security comes out and they may, because they've already got you on camera. Yeah. Uh, just tell them that Mike said it was okay for you to fish right All right, now. yeah, I won't go past right here. For sure, man. Thank you, man. So we're fishing. We're, we're, we knew this security is going to eventually come. I've never seen anything like this, by the way. I've, I mean, we put our boat in the water. We're just going to fish. But the security guard comes out, and he's just like, dude, you can't fish here. I was like, oh. I was like, yeah, I get it. I was like, I can get out of your way. He's like, but Mike said I could just fish these rocks right here. I said, as long as I don't get by the boats. I was like, but I can leave. I said, it's not a problem. He's like, yeah. He's like, but you're not allowed to fish here. Like, he just was saying. I, I, I was being respectful towards him, but he was just coming at me like, dude, I, like, I know I can't. If that's like I'll leave but he just wanted to keep going on and on he's like oh Mike's never let anybody fish here no no I'm like bro I'm, I'm fine with it I told him I said I'll leave but when someone starts questioning my integrity like he really like I was pulling some out of my butt first of all I don't even know how I know Mike's name I mean Mike came up to us and said it but it's whatever man we could have went in there we could have caught a lot Alan hooked one as the guy was coming up and I missed one I had my he ate my uh, crawl as the guy was coming up it's just whole stupid event but we're going to continue to fish hopefully we're going to catch some more and uh hopefully we can just run into some big ones we've caught some fish but we're still kind of hunting around i get your line <laughs> what? what I was stuck on your line. Yeah. Alan Bob with the fish, man. We just hit a random spot. Stop another it. another random one. Stop just it. got him, man. Dude, that's the fattest little thing. That's awesome, bro. That was good. Dude, I was stuck on his really line. Tangled. You set it free and then all of a sudden I had a fish. I was like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah. Makes sense, man. Oh, he got me. Yep. Get him up. Get him up. Get him up. There we go. Guys, this is happening quick. Me and Alan are figuring these fish out fairly quick, man. We've only been out here for like 40 minutes, caught like a solid limit. God, that's a good, that's a decent little fish. They're fat out here, man. Yeah. Yep, there's bass back here on a frog. I have flip on me small. Holy crap. Dude, he destroyed that thing and he's so fat. <laughs> Can you 
God, dude, that was crazy. Look at that bass. That is the stubbiest, baddest little fish ever. And just beautiful colors on these fish in this water. <laughs> that was awesome. I was on a frog, guys. We've been trying it. And I guess we're bass back here, man. Heck yeah. Alan's hooked up. I'm trying to get a thumbnail. <laughs> and Alan freaking catching him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm freaking trying to get a thumbnail and Alan's just whacking them, right? That's fatty too. God, dog. Look at the colors on them though. That's like the, the best thing about these fish, man, is the colors are just outstanding on these bass. Look at them. Let me see the colors on them. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. He is a chubby one. Good job, bro. I'm just trying to take our final thumbnail and Alan Bob just, just whacking them, man. Let's get him back in the water. Good job, bro. Good job. Well, I sure do wish we could have fished that marina because it was loaded with bass, guys. I just want to be respectful, you know, man. I'm not, you know, even though he questioned my integrity and did that whole deal, I'm still going to be respectful about it. We pulled up to take a quick, juicy thumbnail. You know, we had to do that. And uh, Alan Bob actually caught one doing that. So, you know, it's whatever. But we had a great time on the waters today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys have not subscribed yet, you need to hit the subscribe button because we're the latest fishing channel on YouTube, baby. So be sure to hit that thing, hit the, <laughs> hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. But thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.